Well, much has been said about the sale and auction of elephants and wildlife trade in general in Namibia. Now, another disturbing matter is that of mis- and disinformation about especially the auction of elephants. Now, to provide more details and to help us set the record straight, I'm now joined in studio by the Minister of Environment and Tourism, that is Honorable Puamba Shifeta. Very good evening, Minister, and thank you so much for making the time to join us. Good evening, and thank you very much. Well, of the auction, of, of course, your ministry decided to auction of 170 elephants. Can you please perhaps just outline for us what necessitated this decision? Yes, um, the auctioning of these um, 170 elephants mm -hmm. was necessitated by the elephant, human, I mean, human elephant conflict in, some set, in certain hotspots mm -hmm. uh, where we had so many incidences. Uh, we decided to first we invited Namibians who have got facilities to keep the custodianship of these elephants. Only two came, but they only took a few. Mm -hmm. So that means nobody wanted to have custody of these elephants. First, it's very expensive to capture them because mm -hmm. uh, we invite the person, if you want, capture and they transport them. Uh, only two institutions, but they took few only. Uh, then we decided, uh, to go to cabinet and just request for approval to auction that. And there was already a standing cabinet resolution that uh, uh, gives, authorized the ministry every second year to auction animals because the population of our wild animals have grown so much. Mm. Elephants at independence, they were less than 7,000. Now, when we conducted a survey in 2016, we found that elephants have surpassed 24,000 thousand in the country and that's why there are so many conflicts between elephants and human mm -hmm. uh, because one is because of the shrinking of the habitats of these elephants mm -hmm. the wild animals now they have to compete with the human development programs which we, of course we cannot uh, prevent mm -hmm. because this uh, human development program encroach in habitats of these animals so we decided then to auction these elephants, not primarily that you want money. Mm -hmm. The thing is that you want to relieve these communities in both commercial and communal who are who have daily have to excruciate experience have excruciating experience mm -hmm. with these animals. Every day. I don't even sleep. I have calls even today. Elephants are destroying and some of these communities want to even to take come to court for mm -hmm. compensation. So what we are saying is that it's not necessary to sell but to invite Namibians who want to take. Even now, we could only manage to sell less than 60, and we wanted 150, so we 170. Mm -hmm. We still have 113, no one wants to buy them. Mm -hmm. So we invited people to come in, but we went to public, we, it was a public invitation, public tender, and the, that is normally according to the Procurement Act, mm -hmm. Public Procurement Act, and we have done that. So only few people came up, mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, those few people who came up, normally we have a reserve price that is put by the treasury. Mm -hmm. So uh, people do not want to buy elephants. Today. That's why they, there's no demand for elephants. That's why they're still there. And I, I've been inviting people, Namibians, who talk too much, come and take them. Because we want to give relief to those communities. Those people are suffering. And uh, if they have to take the government to court one day, if the government, I mean, if the court judgment comes that the government either must take those elephants away from those community or compensate those. We will not be able to do that. Mm. We will not be able to manage. That's why we had we wanted to remove these elephants on time. So that is what happened. And then what happened afterward we sold those elephants, those people who had the who who, succeed, who were successful mm. beat us. They we because we don't capture for them, they mm -hmm. come, we show them this elephant, because we wanted to take health, different health of elephant. So we cannot take few, we have to take the whole head. The if they are 30, head. take the whole head, because we cannot leave some, because there are problems causing those communities. Now, so, ap apart, the question on, uh, that has also been raised, uh, of course, with, in reports, is was the auctioning the only route that the government in, or, or looked at or were there other options that were considered? I know you mentioned that 
transporting the elephants, of course, then is a, an expensive field. But considering that these elephants are mainly troublesome in some areas, could they not have been relocated? Was that an option that was looked at? This country, where do you lo relocate them? First, Etosha, which is fence off. Mm -hmm. It's already over its capacity. A total capacity, carrying capacity is only about 3,000 elephants. Now they are more than 4,000 to 5,000. Mm -hmm. So you cannot put, that's why they are getting out, in and out all the time. So we do not have a space. That's why you called Namibians. We went public. We said, Namibians, if you, those are, if they are those people who have got farms mm -hmm. and have facilities to keep elephants, please come and take this estate asset in your custody, as we do to black rhinos. So because all the black owners belong to the state, but there are people, farmers who are prepared to take them into custody, a state asset. But nobody came except two, and only took few. And people are saying, you know, to keep this elephant for a month, to maintain it, it, it costs a lot of thousands of money. Mm. So it can cost a person, a farmer, for instance, one per one head of mm. elephant. It, takes, it costs a person 200,000. Mm. So, and the, this is really, something and also to capture because money to buy elephant is easy you i can give you an elephant they look take it two thousand mm. capturing that per head it's already about three hundred thousand and these are the facts that because we are we are involved in this exercise and the people when they talk there they shouldn't misinform people the idea is not to sell the idea is to get rid of the problem causing animals mm. in those communities so what transpired in this case, like what people talk about, is that the, one of the buyers decided after he captured these animals, transported this animal to his or her farm, he decided to sell them to another person who is outside. It's allowed in our law, mm -hmm. and even our, our international law allows that. And the, what the minister has to do is that after application for that, the groundwork is done by the officials mm -hmm. that yes the site is officer officers in our office and then permission is granted by the site is and that's why i have no right to refuse i mean no power to refuse if all these Documents requirements are, are, are made yeah. so this is the owner who is a private owner who wants mm -hmm. to dispose of his asset mm -hmm. so it's like you buy a, a car from the auction government auction so you can't, if, you, if the ownership is transferred, yes. you have the right to sell it. That's what the law says. It's your property. The government cannot come because there's, there's no restrictive clause mm -hmm. in the, in the co contract so that you don't sell it. Even you can call sell that car tomorrow. So we have no any other alternative but to allow that person. Mm -hmm. So, but the whole thing is that it's a misinformation. This person, the amount of money people are talking about, you know how much it costs this person to capture and to transport this animal to his farm and after that to transport this animal to Dubai. The information we got is that it costs almost close to 40 million. It's because transporting animal on cargo plane, no, no one wants, no airlines, in fact, only few airlines in the world mm -hmm. who want to transport a special elephant. Just, just, so just so that we're clear, Minister. The sale of the elephants that actually left the country was not in initiated by government, but rather specifically by the private owner who bought the elephants and yes. then sold it internationally. Yes, that is that's the effect. That is in fact what the people are supposed to understand. Mm -hmm. It is not the government. And the government has no, a minister has no power if all the requirements are met both in accordance with the domestic law and international are met. So you cannot, as a minister, refuse that. Otherwise, you will be taken to court. So it's a constitutional right of a person to dispose of his or her asset. Now, 170 went up for auction. Just a little over 60, you mentioned, was sold. We're sitting with 103, 113. Only 57. 57 only was after, sold. This 57, mm. only 37 bought only two bidders who could pay. So the person, the the other person still is still waiting. struggling to pay. So what is the next step with those that are still left? I'm inviting Namibians, especially mm -hmm. those who are making noise. Come and I, I really, I can currently give you just free of charge and mm -hmm. keep in your house, I mean, your, in your farm. Mm -hmm. And you see how it, it, it feels. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 we do not have any other alternative. We have, we have um, people suggested some alternatives. 
apparently you must uh, apply contraception. This, of course, you can do, but how many, how much you are going to pay? Mm. These are 24,000 animals. Mm. And these are up and down. And the gestation period of an alpha is two years. And this contraception only works for two years. It does, it's practical, it doesn't work. Mm. And it's very expensive exercise. It costs you billions, to ex even to just about 10,000 10, of them. Mm. So it will not work. So some, they decided, no, let us put down those elements. It cannot work. Our mm. law does not even uh, uh, allow that. Mm -hmm. International does not even allow that because these are migrated, migratory animals. animals yes. Today they're in Angola. Other countries also complain. Mm. They will not allow. They even complained about putting down bulls mm. because we thought it would be preventing heads if you put down bulls because our law does not allow us to put down females and babies. So you cannot, unless it's injured, so you cannot put it down, you cannot kill it. So you, we, you have to resort to killing just uh, bulls, but it did not work. So I invite Namibians who are really there. Mm. It's a national problem. Elephant, human elephant conflict is a complex one. It's a national problem, and we have to find a national solution. I mean, a national solution to this. Professor, thank you so much for joining us, for us then to share and outline the intricate details of uh, the auction, and of course, also the information on, on the background. But, but just before we let you go, any final remarks that you'd like to share? Yeah, what I'm really <laughs> pleading to Namibians is that mm. let us find a solution to this, mm. a lasting and sustainable solution. And the only way is to say, let us hold hands. Those who have got facilities, please. We, 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 we are gladly that you can take them and uh, use them. But at the end of the day, because poaching has gone down, mm. elephants used to be poached about more than 200 per month, per year. Mm. But today it's less than 10. That means there's no threat to this uh, population. They are, every year you have more elephants. Mm. And we are going to cope, to face a serious problem in this country. We are not, we do not even know what to do with the elephants. Mm. So at the end of the day, we have to find a solution. Indeed. Now we hope that uh, Namibia, uh, or Namibians out there have, of course, listened. And if there are those who have the means, uh, they can, of course, then reach out to your office. Please, please. And, uh, and then, of course, then you we'll can take it them. from we'll there. We'll give to them. Minister, thank you so much once again for your time. Thank you. Well, there you have it. That was the Minister of Environment and Tourism. Shifeta, just giving us an overview of the auction of the 170 elephants and of course welcoming uh, Namibians out there who have the means and of course perhaps the connections to be able to take some of these elephants off the government's hands. This of course the initiative in itself is to safeguard and save lives uh, of the, the issue of um, human wildlife conflict that of course has been rampant in certain areas in the country.